Next Level Shred week two, of course, stuff thrown in there for the boys and some surprises from our trusty Aldi. You want something? Go get it. Period. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name's Nicole. If you are new, thanks so much for clicking on this week's weekly grocery haul. So we are setting ourselves up for week two of our next level shred, which if you're new is a calorie deficit. I am a macro weight loss coach. I have a ton of people in this program and I will tell you guys after week one, everybody is freaking slain. But let's keep on slain with the groceries and getting ourselves set for success. So we went to Aldi, Sam's Club. I went to Target this week. I'm going to look at Target for next week too and see if they got some good deals. And of course we did the Walmart pickup, which had a boo-boo in my favor. So let me take it down to the counter, show you what we picked up from all the places to get ourselves on track for this week First two. First this week, we did a Target drive up and then I went in Sam's Club. I am so angry. Oh, I'm not angry, but I'm like done with Sam's Club as far as the pickup. I can't do the pickup because they lie. They say everything's out of stock or not available and I go in store and it's like abundantly everywhere. So I'm having to go in, but I've been good about just going in and getting things I need instead of having squirrel moments. <sighs> so strawberries, they said were out of stock. They had plenty of them and last week we went in store and got them because of the same reason and they are such a good price for two pounds versus anywhere by me. And these specifically last week, they were so good. I talked about how they've been trashed the past few weeks. These I can say were delicious last week. And again, high volume, low calorie, and my favorite fruit. So I have these on plan for myself for week two of the shred. Also have a ton of blueberries on plan for breakfast for myself next week. And these were a killer price for 18 ounces. So that was a win. And then also a win, y'all know that they do sell this palmetto cheese. This is the only one Trey will eat. Y'all know if you've been following for any amount of time. They don't have the jalapeno one by me, but they have the original and I can't ever find it. So when I see it, I pick up one, whether we need one or not, because it's such a great deal. The Fair Life, okay, the Fair Life drama saga continues. So on my app, it is it says it's out of stock. It doesn't even offer the strawberry one. This is the only one it still shows, but it says out of stock. They had a palette that was probably 10 foot tall today with tons of these for the $18.98 price or whatever. So I picked up one because I've been hoarding them when I see them. And I have some on backup, but just in case, because it's been crazy with them being so shady with the Fairlife. I don't know what's going on. But Trey's been loving the Premier Protein. And have y'all seen this new flavor, Root Beer Float? It sounds good and disgusting to me at the same time. I was like, hmm, I, I don't know. We're going to give it a try and let him try it as well. But I want to see how it tastes. But these are only 10 calories more. They're 160 calories. Same amount of protein, 30 calorie, uh, 30 grams of protein, but root beer float and a protein shake. I don't know about that, but I know he's going to like it. So I got the limited edition one for him. They're so freaking pricey though. $67.84. Yeah, 70 bucks. I mean, the freaking protein shakes, come on. However, Target had a killer like deal. Their 12 packs were three for 15 bucks. Y'all know these are like almost $8 now, and you know I've been complaining about not being able to get the Dr. Pepper, Zero Sugar, Strawberries, and Cream on the app anywhere, and I can't, and I've even went in Walmart, and they're like out of stock, so I was so shook to see that they had these, and I got two of them, and one of the Sunkissed Orange Zero for the Hub, so those were three for 15, which is a way better deal than I've seen on sodas as of late. It's like out of control with the sodas. And then y'all know I like to make my own iced coffee just using ground coffee. But anytime these are 50% off, I pick them up for vacations and trips and just in case I didn't make a new batch of coffee or whatever and I need some backup. This is the Starbucks Blonde Roast Unsweetened Blacked Coffee and it was 50% off with the cartwheel, which is a great deal for that. And then y'all haven't seen me haul the Good and Gather Taco Dip in a hot second, but I was making my meal plan for week two of the shred and I had the queso blanco from Walmart on there and I was like, let's switch it up, girl. You haven't had some things in a while. Make it spicy, make it interesting. That way you don't get, I never get bored with stuff that I love, but just to, especially when we're cutting, I like to switch things up a lot. This one's so good though. It's 45 calories for two tablespoons. It's delicious if you haven't tried it. Thank you, Jesus. It has come back down to its normal price, which is still high in my opinion. But they wanted like, at one point, they had this up to like $8, like double the price. They cray. So I got that at Target for the drive up. Sam's Club. Aldi should be Aldi next. is next. We spent $68.28. I cannot get over the prices. I say that every week. 
you know, I, I don't think I'm ever going to get over the prices. We did pick up a bunch of breads because I was shook by some. I'm making macros with M's Crunchwrap Supreme. I've made it many times before, and usually I use those Joseph's lavash bread things that are 100 calories. I saw these, and I was like, what? I don't even, I haven't been looking for them. They've probably been there is what I'm trying to say. But this is the Aldi Flatbread Original. They also had the multi-grain ones. They were 10 more calories. These are just 90 calories of flatbread and nine grams of protein. Yeah, it's one flatbread. So you need one to make the crunch wraps. That's going to be awesome. I'm so excited because it was, I could have gotten like two or three of these for the same price as the ones at Walmart is what I'm trying to say. So that was a score, unexpected score. I did get Trey some bagels, some cinnamon raisin bagels. They only had one left. These were like less than $2, which is crazy, but they have nine grams of protein in them. I tried to do his protein shake, some fruit, and like some type of carb source for him in the morning. Y'all, they had the keto-friendly dinner rolls back in stock. Y'all know if I see them, I stock up. I was surprised they had them again. They didn't have them, what, like last week? They were completely wiped, and the week before, I went ham the week that you saw me buy them. So I picked up two more to put in the freezer. I've been using these for all of Elise's sliders. I love so many of her slider recipes, and these are a great way to bring the calories down, especially if you are in a calorie deficit. So I got two of them. They are pricey for what they are, but worth it. The whole family loves them. Nobody can tell the difference between these and the real deal. Got a container of almond milk for my protein coffee in the morning every week, a half gallon of milk for the boys' cereal, and then an orange juice for the boys for breakfast two liquid egg whites. I was going to get the like egg makers ones, the ones that look like eggs at Walmart, but I can't, I can't bring myself to pay $5 for a carton of egg whites. These have gone up. They're $3.99 now, but $5 like Walmart is so crazy right now with some of their prices. Coming down here, I got Trey some grape tomatoes. I told you guys I was going to stock them back up. They had their blackberries on sale this week. I didn't go ham because we have a ton of fruit. Y'all seen all the strawberries we have on hand. We have a bunch of grapes and stuff left over from last week. So I didn't want to go overboard and have stuff spoil, but that is Trey's favorite and they were a killer price. So pick those up for him. Speaking of him, I replenished his turkey pepperoni for his homemade Lunchables pizzas, all the things. Also got him some Wild Wonder mini peppers. He was loving those last week and they're always a much cheaper price at Aldi versus Walmart. Instead of doing carrot chips next week, I'm opting to do the cucumber slices with that taco dip you saw me get at Target. And these look great and they were like three cents cheaper than Walmart. Save those pennies. Got the boys some cinnamon rolls this week to treat them this weekend while Mama's gonna be in her calorie deficit. And then I need an entire 32 ounce container of non-fat Greek yogurt to make the protein cheesecake. I've made that many times when I'm in a calorie deficit. Got the boys two containers of the Moo Tubes. They didn't have their cotton candy blend thing that they like, but they don't care, honestly. And then I saw everybody on TikTok hauling these packets and I was so happy that my Aldi had them because people have been hauling them weeks ago. My Aldi's kind of late to the game with getting certain things. They're like in slow motion. Not mad about it as long as we get it. So I got four of these honey garlic seasoning mix packets. Now what am I going to use this for? It's 15 calories for a serving and there's four and a half servings. So when you're adding this to recipes, make sure you account for that in your recipes, in your tracker, if you're tracking macros. But I like to add this to like ground chicken and make like your taco meat out of this or make like some mini sliders or something with this. It's just an easy way to like season up your stuff and make it super good and not have to have a big hassle with the recipe. Speaking of, I did get the buffalo wing sauce. It's a little higher calorie, 25 calories. That would be awesome. Just on chicken too, like plain chicken breast, just season it, put in the oven, be done with. I like to have stuff like this on hand. And for 89 cents a packet, yes, please. I haven't seen the iced tea with lemon. They usually only have the peach one. Waylon's, you know, Waylon in his palate. He's not a fan of the peach one. Trey doesn't care. He'll drink anything. So Waylon loves tea is what I'm trying to say. So I thought this iced tea with lemon might be good versus the fruit punch and the lemonade we've been getting. Those are the pitcher packs, you know, the boys like. And then they are almost out of all the peanut butter little mini crackers. I bought some of these from my local salvage store. Waylon especially has been grabbing all that for baseball for sure. So I went ahead and got just this little packet 
of peanut butter toast crackers just to tie it over. We have a bunch of snacky stuff, so I'm trying not to buy that stuff and go through it. They had the paper plates. They haven't had these at my Aldi in forever. And they were actually like on display like as a special thing with some of the Aldi finds. I was like, what? But I got this because I had the ones in my cart for Walmart and they were so expensive. So they were about the same price, but they didn't have the 50 quantity at Walmart. And I don't, you know, it's I'm paying the same money, but it doesn't feel like it. You get me out there. And then the boys have went through all that cereal we got at Sam's Club around Christmas time that cinnamon toast crunch when that was on clearance they finally went through it all and Waylon especially has been screaming at me mom cereal he's a cereal obsessed okay so this was about five cents cheaper than the great value in the frosted flakes knockoff for Aldi same quantity size everything it's a little bit cheaper and then I did get the knockoff to the lucky charms which was a pretty good price the great value Walmart cereal though is not bad price though when you compare the Aldi off-brand to the Walmart it's pretty comparable except some of them not but some of them are like they have a captain crunch one that's cheaper than the aldi one so definitely check like i've mentioned every single week so this is everything we got at aldi this week for the price i told you walmart pickup should be should be small and be 59 dollar nice. walmart grocery pickup most of it was the meat but they made a boo-boo in my favor i'll tell you about happy about that i mean thanks walmart can we catch a break because your prices are so crazy lately we got the Driscoll's raspberries from Walmart again. It is the lowest price around me currently, and they have been delicious. Like, look how good they look. So I have a bunch of those on plan. And like I've mentioned a million times, Trey's newfound love of that fruit. Um, this bell pepper is pitiful. I have the tiniest hands. It may not look like it, but my hands are like abnormally small, and this is not going to cut it. I'm making Elise Ellis's Philly cheesesteak sliders. And I definitely like the pepper onion mix on that. And that's just not going to be enough. So we're going to have to stop and get another one. But that's all right. I did get one onion. It is massive. Instead of getting a bag of onions, I feel like the bag of onions, a couple of them start to like go bad on me because I don't use a whole bunch of onions every single week, if that makes sense. So I did, it's more cost effective to get a bag, but I just got one for a recipe. Bananas gotta be organic, y'all know. The broccoli at Walmart has went up significantly. Like it did go up before with all the craziness, but $1.17 a bag, like it went down to 98 cents. It went to like $1.10 the highest I've seen it. It's like a dollar seventeen. Like what the actual hell? But we love this, and Trey loves this too. So wanted to make sure that we had it. I guess four of the light Greek yogurts. This is the knockoff to the Dan and Light and Fit. That's the banana cream pie for Waylon. I have enough for Trey on hand from last week from Sam's, and then I did get two of the Chobani Zero Sugar in the vanilla. I like these a lot, and I didn't need a big case from Sam's, so I opted for that. So for the meat for the Philly Chase cheesesteak sliders. I got two packages is what I put in my cart. They gave me three. As you can see, this one's $10.15, $9.97, and $8.53. They only charged me $18.70, so it would be like the equivalent of that. So I got like a third extra pack for free, basically. I don't know why that was in there, but I'm not complaining about it at all because this freaking steak is so expensive. But I love this one for that recipe specifically and a couple other ones from her. And the macros are great if you're in a calorie deficit. I know steak, depending on what cut you get, can be kind of fatty and high calorie. This one is four ounces for 150 calories, 25 grams of protein. Like what? It is really good and it's perfect for those slider recipes. So if I don't need all this, which I don't think I do, I only need two pounds. So yeah, that'll suffice right there. I will put this in the freezer for a future meal. So thank you Walmart for the extra meat. Hashtag winning. I did get some pantry stuff. Y'all know I love the Taco Bell mild. I like the hot one too. The Taco Bell sauce. I've been adding this to plain non-fat Greek yogurt with some taco seasoning and making a yummy dressing to put on taco salads or to dip all the things, your tacos, wraps, really, really good. I did get some more of the Propel electrolytes. I didn't get the one I've been loving. I got this one I've never tried. It's the Kiwi Strawberry. And this one's zero calories. It's not a big deal to track the other one. It's just annoying to have to track a freaking water packet. So I got that one, so I don't have to worry about it, honestly. I did get the boys some more of the grape jelly that they like, which is a Welch's Natural. For peanut butter and jelly and biscuits, all the things. I needed some green beans last week on plan. And I thought I had a bunch in the pantry and apparently I did not. So I was like, oh gosh. And that's when the broccoli came in clutch. I had some of that in the freezer. So we had that instead, but I like broccoli. I like green beans because they're a lower calorie 
veggie option, if that makes sense. So I wanted to have these on hand. I got the two French style no salt added. It's 15 calories for a serving, which is a ton. And then this one's also 15 calories for just the no salt cut ones to have in the pantry in case we want to swap up sides this week or just whenever I need it. I've been going ham on these no sugar Del Monte sliced peaches. I love these. I have a ton of these on plan for snack next week and I have a bunch in the cabinet, but just in case, honestly, one serving that I'm eating of this is almost a whole can, which is crazy. So 25 calories is 121 grams. I will tell you about 221 gram servings is an entire can, which is 50 calories and they are so good. They are expensive and pricey, but I'll pay it for the macros and for it to be on point. I did get some drink options. I didn't get the Sprite. I have a few of those on hand. I wanted to get some two liters, but when did two liters get to be almost $3 a two liter? These weren't, these were the cheapest ones I could find. They were under $2. I mean, oh my gosh, so cheap. We all remember when two liters were like, under a dollar? Where are those days at? I'm getting old. Barks Zero Sugar Root Beer. This is really good if you haven't tried it. I like the A&W Zero too, but this Barks one is awesome. So I got a two liter for that. And then I also got our beloved Sunkiss Orange and the Zero Sugar. These are for me, all right? These are not for the hubs. These are for me to have a little sip sip right before bed and not like commit to an entire can or entire bottle, if that makes sense. And then some non-grocery items. These were originally $12, it said, on their site, and they were on rollback for five. Like, what the actual hell? I wouldn't pay $12. Five blue disc in here. I love the little drop-ins, whether it be the Clorox or whatever. Don't come for me. I like it, and I have a house of all boys, so your girl needs it. So I got that because we're out. And then I have two dishwasher pods to my name left. We're gonna give the Great Value ones a try. This is equivalent to the Cascade Complete, and they were a good price for 32 uh, packs. I wasn't mad about it. I hadn't been a fan of the ones from Sam's, and they've gone up in price, so that's why you haven't been seeing me get those. I've been getting the Finish ones from Amazon, but this one is a better deal. So that's everything we got from Walmart Pickup, $59. And we got some free steak. That's gonna do it for this week's grocery haul. If you look forward to these grocery hauls, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That helps me out so much. I appreciate you taking the time to do so, so, so much. If you're new, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and make sure that the bell is clicked so you're notified every Wednesday night when we upload a new grocery haul here. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope these videos are helpful in showing you some different variety you can throw in on your weight loss journey, your fitness journey, and some things that you can get for your kiddos and some different options on the cheaper, side. I know it's super hard right now with the prices in the grocery store, but that's why I always preach on trying to be smart and shop multiple stores so you're not spending an arm and a leg overall. Y'all have an awesome day and an awesome week, and we'll see you in week three of the Next Level Shreds grocery haul. Bye, guys.